Today is a day worthy of celebration because today we're celebrating 700 shows here on Babby's House. So will you stick around and help me to lift up the name of Jesus and thank him for 700 shows here on Babby's House. It's coming up right now. everybody and welcome to Babby's house praise God can you believe it 700 shows here on Babby's house and I'm just so excited as I look back and see what God has done over the course of 14 years 14 years of celebrating Jesus on Babby's house that means 700 teases 700 times the Babby's house theme has rolled 700 songs I've sung at the top of every show, 700 times I've introduced a very special guest, 700 times I've welcomed you, and 700 times I've given praise and glory to God for his presence here on Babby's house. And I'll tell you what, God, over the course of 700 shows, God is still worthy to be praised. And I tell you, my songs get sweeter because my relationship with Jesus gets sweeter over the course of 14 years and 700 shows. So you've tuned in on a very good day because this is a day worthy of celebration. I want to sing, like I always do at the top of every show, I want to sing a song, but today this song is very special in, in light of what God has done over the course of 14 years and 700 shows. My heart turns to the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, and I go to the 20th verse. And as I think about God's faithfulness in my life, I want you to think about God's faithfulness in your own life. Listen to what Lamentations chapter 3 verse 20 says, and on down a couple of verses. My soul hath them still in remembrance, and is humbled in me, as I remember what God has done. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. You know, even when we are faithless, God is faithful. Will you just give him praise and glory for his faithfulness in your life right now? Thou hey. 
manifold witness to thy great faithfulness to all of your mercy For all my sins And to give a peace And always endure it Thine own dear presence To cheer me And to guide me along my way You gave For all my tomorrows, oh, thank you, Lord. Blessings all mine with 10,000, 10,000 just thrown in beside. have already provided and oh and I'm grateful Lord great is thy faithfulness so great is thy faithfulness so great is thy faithfulness Lord Go red. You wear it. Now feel it. Go red. Put your hand on your heart and make a promise to be heart healthy. Go red. Take a moment and go red in your own fashion. Go red. Love your heart. Learn how. Join the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women. Moms everywhere are finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. Hey, did you hear about the new prevention benefits for Medicare? The health care law gives us a yearly wellness visit to talk with our doctor about our care. Medicare also covers recommended cancer and prevention screenings. Plus 50% off brand name prescription drugs. If you're in the donut hole. So I can get the prescriptions I need. To stay healthy. Word sure gets around. Tell your friends and family. Learn more at Medicare.gov or call 1-800-MEDICARE. Share the news. 
Share the health. Does retirement have to wait until my 70s? Is it great college for our kids? Out of the question. Is the American dream out of our reach? Not if we can help it. We're the National Endowment for Financial Education, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get smart about their money. Log on to smartaboutmoney.org today and start taking control of your financial life. Well, welcome back to the show, my friend. I'm, I'm so happy that you've tuned in today because this is such a very special show. And what makes it special is not only the fact that I get to do this and that I get to do this for the glory of God, but I get to do this to encourage you. And over the course of all these years, 14 years of, of taping Babby's house and coming into your homes or into your hotel room or, wherever, or even over the internet, this is so beautiful to know that anybody across the earth, across the planet, Planet can tune into Babby's house via the internet and it's a very humbling thing to know that I get this opportunity to tell people about the love of God you know one day I was reading the Bible in John 3 16 what a landmark passage and as I was reading John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life one day I was reading that passage and it was like it came new all over again for the very first time. And the Lord gave me permission to place my name where it says the whosoever and all the other pronouns. And it was as if it read like this. I quoted it like this. For God so loved Babby that he gave his only begotten son that if Babby believes in him, Babby would not have to perish, but Babby could have everlasting life. And right now, my friend, wherever, wherever it is that you're sitting, at home or wherever in the world you are, I want to I want to challenge you. I want to encourage you to do that as I sing this song. I want you to think about God's love for you. The book of John just celebrates God's love for us. And in the 17th chapter, Jesus prays that we would know that we would know and understand that God loves us as much as he loves his own son in John chapter 17 verse 23. So as I sing this song about God's love and how beautiful and how deep Paul, the Apostle Paul puts it like this, his how high and how deep, how broad and how wide is the love of God. And so will you celebrate Jesus's love for us right now as I sing this song for Jesus and for you. It's called You Love Me. Yes. 
Powerful message to know that the God of the universe loves you just as much as he loves his very own son Jesus you know I wrote a book called embraced by God and as I look back over the course of 14 years I look at what God has done in my own life he, he continually allows me to write songs and to sing those songs and to write books to give him glory and to encourage people like you my friend and so I wrote this book called Embraced by God, and as I was writing it, I met a young lady. I went into a store where my husband and I often shop, and I was talking to the clerk one day, and I was telling her about how I was writing this book to let people know that God loves us and loves them and loves you as much as he loves Jesus. This young lady, she, she questioned that. She says, Babby, I don't, I don't know how God could love me because I've got issues, she said. She says, I've got a past, some things in my past I'd like to forget. She said that she was abused by an adult when she was a little girl, and she carried that the, the shame and even the doubt of God's love into her adulthood and, and the, and the self-loathing uh, she carried into her adulthood. And she says, Babby, I don't know how God could love me because I've got a, a messed up life. I assured her that we all have a messed up life. You know what I mean? All have sinned, the Bible says. All have sinned and fallen short of what it takes to please God. And I assured her that as she rehearses the, the promises of God, I, I even used the fact that I've been playing the piano ever since I was a little girl. And when I first began to learn to play the piano, I could only play in one key, and that was the key of C. Three chords, a C chord, an F chord, a G chord, and back down to a C chord. But over the course of rehearsing and applying my, my practice and applying my lessons, I began to be able to play in every key. And now I can play in every key and even play with my eyes closed. And so I encouraged her to begin to rehearse, to practice the promises of God over her life, to cancel out the lies and the threats of the enemy. And I, I reminded her that right now Jesus is standing in the gap for us. The Bible says in the eighth chapter of the book of Romans that he intercedes for us day and night. I want you to be encouraged knowing that Babby Mason is praying for you. That's what Babby's house is all about. It's about praying for you and encouraging you. So let me sing this song for you. It's called Standing in the Gap. suffering pain but I didn't dare just turn my head and look the other way for when your heart is aching my heart is aching too let me help you bear your burden 
everything will work out fine For the Spirit knows before you speak What is on your heart and mind So I'll be interceding Till you're standing strong again The peace that passes understanding Is gonna be yours But until then I'll be standing going to sing this chorus one more time and as I do I want to encourage you maybe to just even lay your hand upon yourself and even pray for yourself you know David encouraged himself in the Lord will you just sing this song as a source of encouragement over your own life I'll sing it for you as well I'll be standing in the gap for you just remember so God, I pray, I pray that that's a source of encouragement for you today. After this break, we'll be right back with more of Babby's House. on your mortgage? Afraid to call your lender? You don't have to face this alone. There is a new government-sponsored program that may help you keep your home. Call 866-687-6322. Nonprofit certified counselors from the National Foundation for Credit Counseling are available to work with you and can help deal with your lender. And this service is completely free. The sooner you call, the better your options. Call or visit mortgagehelpnow.org. This nightmare does not have to happen to you. Daddy? A businessman with a heart condition heads to his next out-of-town meeting. There's something we're not seeing here. Most people don't know where they stand with the risk of DVT. Here's Mary, who's getting ready to celebrate her 65th birthday. Where does she stand with DVT? A recent hospital stay may increase your risk for DVT. Here's an athlete who's recovering from an injury on the field. He could be out of the game for some time. Here's a woman walking with her child. They're all looking good, tackling life, and living to the fullest. But what they don't know is just where they stand with DVT. They all may be at risk. DVT, deep vein thrombosis, a blood clot that's usually found in your leg that can break loose, travel to your lungs, and cause death. Each year, approximately 300,000 Americans will die from DVT-related complications. My husband was one of them. Are you a model for DVT? Take a stand. Awareness leads to action. Talk to your doctor if you think you may be at risk. Visit preventdvt.org. Well, this has been an awesome opportunity for me to celebrate Jesus over the course of 14 years and 700 shows. What a mighty God we serve. You know, as, as I've been singing over the course of this show, have you been able to maybe reflect and, and thank God for what he's doing in your own life? 
you know, I grew up a preacher's kid, and my daddy's church, they would testify, he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. I have the activity of my limbs, and the blood is still running warm in my veins. That's a great testimony. And a dear read, a dear viewer who writes into Babby's house, her name is Essie from Georgetown, South Carolina. She says, Dear Babby, I look at your show every chance I get, and I'm always blessed by you and by your guests. And I'm a born-again Christian, serving the Lord most of my life, and I'm 73 years of age. And I thank God for Essie from South Carolina. And it, it brings me great joy to know that people of, of every nationality, of every denomination, uh, of every creed and, and culture, tune into Babby's house. I go into the drugstore, and I see you there. And I, I go into the, the, the grocery store and I see you there and you tell me you're watching the show. Thank you so very much for doing that. I want to encourage you to go to my website at babby.com, babby.com, and let me know that you've seen today's show. And I, I just want to bless you in these last few seconds of the show. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could even ask or think according to the power that's at work within us. That's my prayer for you today. And thank you for watching Babby's House today and for encouraging me with your cards and your letters. Will you, just like Essie from South Carolina, will you pick up paper and pencil today and drop me a line? Our address is at the, right, there on the, right there on the screen. And or email me uh, your, your heart's um, thoughts today here at babby.com. Well, God bless you, my friend, and thank you again for watching Babby's House over the course of all these many years. I'll see you the next time. We'll do it again right here on Babby's House. Bye-bye for now.